that are just joining them on just joining us on Facebook. We are here, and we are going to be working tonight with the Stampamajig. Now I know last week we were all about the Stamparatus, right? Let's get these cool names. And the Stamparatus is the new, the brand new. I don't even have one to show you. Stamp positioning tool that Stampin' Up is launching. If you missed out on the first launch, don't worry. There will be another one on December 5th. The Stamparatus sells for $49. That's not this. It's sort of like that machine that we don't talk about that we don't call starts with an M, Misty, that you position your stamp and then you flip it over and it stamps where you want it to stamp. The Stamparatus, though, has two. So it has, Bill, just a minute. It has one here and it has one here arms they're clear and then you put your stamp here your card here and you stamp and you stamp so it works pretty cool we'll get mine i did get in on the initial order so around february something we'll be talking about those but in the meantime it still might need to position a stamp and the stamp of a jig is a pretty handy tool it's a little more labor intensive it's not automated it's something you have to actually do but once you figure it out it's really not bad so i thought i would sh figure out what we're going to do and show you how to use it so it comes in a box like so it's been around for a long time it's a little bit weird come on bell say goodbye all right here you go go ahead um bell's the little shih tzu but she's gone now all right so it comes like this. It comes with directions, but they're, I didn't, yeah, I'll show you how instead. So let's say we have, and I'm going to go back to an easy one first. Hey, Melanie, welcome. This labeled me pretty. And we're going to want to center some of these in the right place. And sometimes it's tricky to do that, especially when they're not clear photopolymers and you can't see through them. So let's say I'm going to use this stamp and I want to put this circle in the middle. All right, okie doke. And let's do some color we haven't done in a while because we've been doing Christmas, Christmas. Let's grab some pool party. All right, so here's our stamp set. And what you're gonna do is, I need a block. And you put your stamp on. And another one. Okay. So I'm going to do this one first. And the first thing I'm going to do is line this up. I know it's tough to see on the way. I left this with a little bit of a green stain from the last time. So this is the imaging sheet. It's smooth on one side and bumpy on the other. As long as you're using a wipe off, so one of our regular ink pads, the classic, you can just wipe it off. If you're using a stays on, it's gonna be trickier and it's not gonna wipe off as well, okay? All right, and I'm going to ink up my stamp and I'm going to line it up, hold this in place. If you're left-handed, you're going to flip it over and do it on the other side. I'm right-handed. So I'm going to line that up so this is snug in the corner. I'm going to take my block and put that snug in the corner and come straight down. Okay? It's not showing really well for you. I guess I'm going to do black. Hold on. I wanted to do it with a different color, but we'll do it with a black. you need to see it. So anchor up. Make sure you're good and smooth. And then line it up tight in the corner and hold it there. Line this up and stamp. Yep. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to take this one, 
I'm going to flip it into a different corner. Same thing, tighten the corner, line you up. Okay. All right. So now I want this. And where would I like it? Well, I want it to be right over here. So I'm going to, now remember, this one was this way. So I'm going to set this where I want it. That's where I want the stamp to be. I'm going to take my stamp and a jig. And you just have to make sure nothing's moving. So you line this up where you want it. Then you hold this in place and your paper, and you get this out of the way. Then you stamp, ink this up again, bring it in exactly where I wanted it. Then I bring this in and figure out where do I want that. I want that like that, right? Now, if you noticed, when I stamped it the first time, it was a little crooked. I can line this up where I haven't changed my block. Don't move this. Line it up where you want it. Bring this over and position it in place, making sure you don't move anything. Get it where you want it. Then move this out. Hold you in place. Don't wiggle it. And there you go. Right? It really is pretty cool. It's almost too simple to actually work. The Stamparatus thing works like a Misty does. It, it solves the same problem, yes. It works on a little bit different principle in that you don't have to like hold things in place. You don't have to juggle it. But this works really well for something simple and easy. So let's try another one. Let's do, um, so when you're done, you just take this and a wet paper towel and wipe that off. Or you can use a baby wipe and wipe that off. It takes it right off. Right? Okay. So let's do this one. Now you saw me mess this up last night. So let's do this one. This is Painted Harvest. And I'm going to do the same kind of thing. Whoops. I'm going to do the, the sheet first. It seems like a lot of steps, but it's really not. It really isn't. It works pretty well. Uh, let's clean you off. Let's clean our stamps. And then I'm going to keep using that. Well, maybe I can use a color on this one. Let's see. Right? You'll find it. And you. I bet you'll like it. I have to say, everybody kind of poo-pooed it for me. A lot of um, other demonstrators were like, oh, it's kind of silly and you don't really like it. And you won't, you know, you're not going to like it. And I really actually do. So I was kind of late to the party getting it. But I really think it's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to use pumpkin pie and crushed curry. Let's see if this will work. A Stampin' Around. Maybe it's similar. I don't know that one. It's, remember, I never used to get inky. So if it's been around for a while, I probably don't know it. A Stampin' Around. I'm sure it's a product of theirs. I mean, using that name. Okay, so we've got three stamps that we're going to do with this one, all right? And I'm going to use this because I'm going to, I am going to stamp off. Am I? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Okay, so line this up. And the first one I'm going to do is the pumpkin pie, is the crushed curry. 
Okay. Oh, journaling, you think? I don't know. You guys investigate and you figure out what that is for. All right, so this is my crushed curry. And I'm going to line this up this way. It's really tough for you to see. So before I go on to another one, I'm going to bring this in and figure out where I want it. I want it right in the middle. Because I've also got, I'm going to put this sentiment on the front. Down here. So I'm going to leave that right there. Bring this into place. Hold it. Get this out of the way. Ink. Push it tight to the edge and stamp. Okay. All right. So now the next one I want. Now, if I were going to do a bunch of cards, I could save this and keep using it. But since I'm not, I'm going to get rid of that so I don't get confused and I don't get crushed curry on anything. And I'm going to put this down. And figure out which way this is going to go. And I can kind of play with it because I'm over it. Why can't I see that? Oh, <laughs> I'm like, why can't I see the center? Because there's yellow in it. Ay, ay, ay. I can't see through it. Oh, and remember Debbie said last week that she used hand sanitizer to get the colors off. Notice I don't have pink stamps any any blocks anymore. I use Debbie's hand sanitizer and it worked great. So thanks for sharing that, Deb. So pumpkin pie. And I'm going to just bring this in, line it up, and stamp. Okay. Now I'm going to take this and figure out where I want it. And see how much easier this is to, to see where that center is? It's just a lot easier to turn this around and get it where you want it than it is to tell with a stamp. I think it's there. I'm going to live with that. I'm going to say that's where I want it. All right. Seems kind of crazy, but I can do it. I'm going to kind of hold this all in place. See, this is where there's a lot of things that you're doing and holding them in place. This and a finger, hold it, get this out of the way, bring this in. And stamp. Lined up way better than any of the others that I've done. Now let's do our center, which is always a challenge. And let's do that with early espresso. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to bring this in. Line this up here. I don't have to worry about how I'm positioning it. I'm just going to get it on here. All right. And then I'm going to take this and figure out where do I want this to be. 
That looks about right. Bring this in. Hold it down. Bring this. Oops. Perfecto. Right? Really pretty easy. Wait, I missed what you guys were chatting about, but you can tell me. <laughs> so they were looking up to see what Stampin' Around was, a Stampin' Around wheel tool that some of them have somewhere. And it's older. It's before me. It's before I joined Stampin' Up. So I don't know what it is. But it's definitely from an old school catalog. And they're laughing at their obsessive shopping behavior. They're confessing here in the classroom about what they shop for. <laughs> okay. So now, what if I decided that I wanted to add a sentiment and I want to go above and below my flower? That's always a challenge, too, to get this to go exactly where I want it. So I have gather together and give thanks. And then I'm going to put, um, and I could just guess, I could, and hope that it comes out where I want it, because these are clear stamps, so it's not too bad. But if they were red stamps, I wouldn't be sure I was getting them exactly where I want them. If you're, this is another way to, to get your stamps to line up. Put them the right side down. So this is the side that's going to go to the block. I'm going to take a bigger block. And I'm going to go down right over the whole thing and pick up those two stamps. And then once I pick them up, I only have to position one of them. So I'm going to go with pumpkin pie for my sentiment. So the stamp of the jig is handy. It comes in really good for some layering and positioning. It is a really cool tool. And now I only have to figure out where one of these is. And if I get one right, they're both going to be right. And I line it up where I want it and commit. And now my card is ready. All right. Now, what if I'm thinking, well, it's kind of blank down here. What can I do? Well, just because you're, you're happy with your stamping doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to be complete. Let me get the base of my card now. I'm going to go with my good old-fashioned old olive because I love old olive. I'm going to have to switch to something else later. It just seems really fall, a good fall color to me. So I'm cutting a four and a quarter by five and a half. Oops. For my card base and I'm scoring it at four and a quarter and bringing that in. Okay, so this is going to go like this. This kind of seems a little boring down here. We need something down here. Well, I could do a border. I could do an embossed piece. What if I grab a piece of Hold on, I'm coming. This is from the Halloween ones. Remember the witches were in the back? And I could put that across the bottom. I could bring in some ribbon. Absolutely, Kathy, ribbon would look great. So I'm gonna come over here and see what I got. I like that flat burlap, but I don't think I have any more of that. I've used it a lot. Um, Ooh, this would be pretty. Right? Let's do both. Oh, 
I like that one. And some of my twine might look pretty well. A thin strip of the paper. Let's try that. I wonder how the orange strips would look without the black. I don't know if I like that one. Let me look. Hold on. Let me just, we'll, we'll vote on which ones we like. We'll get rid of this dark line. It's too Halloween-ish. Right, so we have this. I kind of like that, actually. Or, hold on. This is... Whoopsie. The first one. Now, this is making a card without a sketch. <laughs> or we have this one. Oh, I think I do like that one better. What do you think? A or B? A? Okay, I think I'm going with A, but I want a straight A. That was crooked. So now, because you know I can't do a card without my triple banner punch. I'm going to bring in my triple banner and give this a nice end. Right. And then trim this. And add a little bow. You're right. Oh, you don't want this? You want this? Just straight? Okay. Straight it is. All right, and let's trim that little piece off. And let's... Now I'm thinking I maybe shouldn't have used Old Olive and I should have used Pumpkin Pie, but we're here. And then I'm going to do two kinds of ribbon together. Two loops. <laughs> Apparently I'm having trouble with the two loops. It's like holding alligators together. No, we don't like that. We like this plane. We'll do something else with the twine. There. Yeah, I really like this ribbon. I forget that I have it sometimes. I was thinking that Kathy was um, Kathy saying tie one of these and glue it on top. Thinking that, or I was going to wrap it around the middle, but we'll just do another bow and see what that looks like. All right. So the whole point of this was actually more about this. <laughs> The stamp of a jig than it was to create this really cool card, but I'm really liking this card. He needs a glue dot though. 
What do you think? Do we do okay? I like him. There's one. All right. So stamp from a jig is kind of cool. It's a great stopgap. Um, it's good to have like if you travel and you want to just throw it in, a, in your tote so you have it with you. Um, I still think that the Stamposaurus, no, that's not what it is. It's Stamparatus. <laughs> I'm going to call it Stamposaurus. I am, I am. Um, but it works pretty well. It really does help you line things up. It helped us get some really great, what's the other one I did? Oh, remember this goes with that label punch. Uh, this one. And we're all lined up and good to go. And now, boy, I just really didn't pick these out to be Thanksgiving themed, but they really are. <laughs> so have a great week, you guys. I'm sure you'll all be cooking and getting ready to eat. If you're going to host, you'll be cooking. If you're going to visit, just you'll be working out a little bit so you have room to get all those good snacks down inside. Have a great week. I'm sure I'll be back. Make sure that you check out those sales that are going on this week on the Stampin' Up! site. The online extravaganza, I love that word, is all week. Today is the only day that has the 20% off on those stamp sets. So if there was some that you were wanting and thinking, well, I'll look at that later, today's the only day for those. The others on that list go all week. And I will be back. Have a great week. And thanks for all of you. I am incredibly grateful for all the time that you spend with me. Thank you. Bye.